So, Dr. Weston Price. Dr. Weston Price was a dentist who traveled the world in the 1930s to study isolated groups of people living on a traditional diet. What he found was really compelling. Those people living on a traditional diet had less than 1% tooth decay. There was very little sign of degenerative disease. The women had no difficulty uh, during childbirth and they reproduced their racial form with consistency which meant that brothers and sisters looked like brothers and sisters, looked like their parents and looked like their, um, like their cousins. And then he contrasts those people on a traditional diet to those on what he called the, the, the foods of commerce. And those people on the foods of commerce, they had um, rampant tooth decay. There was um, massive degenerative disease like cancer, heart disease, uh, tuberculosis. There was a narrowing of the racial form, hence a narrowing of the birth canal. And the diff women had difficulty during uh, childbirth. And the children didn't look like like brothers and sisters, didn't look like their parents and didn't look like their, um, their cousins. When he asked these people why they went to such great efforts to source really good quality uh, food for their children, they all said exactly the same thing, because we want to bring up strong, healthy children. So now you contrast that with... Um, the present situation where you have a woman may book in for a caesarean section on a Friday afternoon so she can be back at work Monday morning. But what are the consequences of uh, fast food? Well, there's a whole host of um, modern degenerative diseases, you know, autoimmune diseases that never existed a hundred years ago. And Dr. Price titled his book, Nutrition and Physical Degeneration. Now, when people actually refer, they make the comment that someone has good genetics. Well, maybe to a degree, but what often people are actually referring to is the uh, consequence of good nutrition. So your grandparents, your parents, and you were brought up on a really good traditional diet, then you will look good. Look good, well proportioned, and you'll probably be really fit, strong and healthy. But if you, your grandparents, parents and you were brought up like on uh, junk foods, supermarket foods and that sort of thing, then you're not going to have that same constitution. You're not going to look, you're not going to have that same look that those people on a good diet did. Now, when I was actually in Malaysia a few years ago, I took a train to the end of the line somewhere, out somewhere, somewhere near Kuala Lumpur, and I got off the train. And I walked out on the platform at the bottom and I saw a group of women, a group of Islamic women. There must have been about a dozen. And they were all facing away from me. They were all wearing their black um, outfit. And what I found really interesting that they were all within about height-wise, plus or minus an inch of each other, and they were all of much the same physical proportion. And when they turned around, they all had really beautiful smiles. Now, contrast that with I go down to um, my local um, st street on the Gold Coast and I see a group of teenagers and, you know, there's one teenager this wide, you know, and this short and another one's about like nearly seven foot. They're all different shapes and sizes. You know, it's the consequence of the um, junk food diet that we actually have. Now, when people actually have got a good body, they look good, this has to translate into positive feelings of self-worth, self-regard, um, self-value. But when someone, you know, their body's just not the way that nature actually intended, you know, they have like emotional problems. So for me, 
The value statement that really motivates me in respect to health and nutrition is because we want to bring up strong, healthy children. You know, because I want to bring up strong and healthy children. I want to motivate others to bring up strong and healthy children because then it has to translate into more um, peace and harmony um, in the community. So what's your value statement that motivates you in respect of health and nutrition? I'd like you just to write it in the box down below and just let me know.